There are three options for securing cloud migration. The first is for the cloud engineers to put together some sort of combination of tools and recommendations and best practices with their own experience and their own expertise. Option number two is to use the tools that the cloud vendor is providing, which is pretty much checking the box on their recommendations. And the third option is to use a trusted cloud security vendor. So there are pros and cons to all of these solutions, and it's important to compare apples to apples. If you're considering using a cloud vendor's security solutions, ensure that you're checking that they are able to provide the following capabilities. Does it have next generation firewall capabilities? For example, application control or identity awareness? Secondly, does it support advanced routing protocols, for example, BGP? Thirdly, and perhaps most importantly, can it protect you from zero-day threats? In other words, threats that have not yet been seen in the wild. The next point to consider is the migration process. How easy will it be for your team to use the new solution? How well does it integrate into your existing tools and processes? No less important, most organizations have or will have a multi-cloud or hybrid cloud strategy. Will your cloud solution support that? because you don't want to be locked into a single cloud vendor. Last but not least, you can't ignore the total cost of ownership, all the way from migration to maintenance, including integration costs, staffing costs, training costs, and the cost of the solution itself over time. Quite a headache, right? Well, not necessarily. You're already confident with Checkpoint's network security solutions. CloudGuard extends those security capabilities into hybrid and multi-clouds, so you can Migrate to the cloud with ease and with confidence with the same security platform that your team is familiar with.